Even if seat sharing is still a dilemma for the Indian National Congress Party for the Indian National Development Inclusive Alliance, some INC candidates are sure of winning a constituency ticket to contest from their choice in Assam. One such seat is Assam's prestigious Karimganj Lok Sabha seat, wherein Indian National Congress has almost made up its mind to field noted Guwahati High Court advocate, a civil rights activist and founding working president of All India United Democratic Front, Hafiz Rashid Chaudhary. Chaudhary joined the Indian National Congress Party on 28 December in Guwahati in the presence of AICC General Secretary and in charge of Assam, Jitender Singh, after a long sabbatical from the AIUDF party. Campaigning hard now in Karimganj district of Assam to win the voters' confidence, Hornbill TV correspondent caught up with him at one such venue, speaking to our Hornbill TV correspondent exclusively when asked as to what prompted him to return to politics amid speculations that BJP would return to power for the third time at the centre, he said. Suspending 146 MPs in Parliament and passing important bills in its garb the next day fueled his decision to join INC. He also said if BJP do not get an absolute majority, then it will be a victory for democracy. In fact, from since 2017, I really I was not in direct in politics. I was doing my service at the in, in the name of civil society, in other some Nagarik Samaj, etc. But uh, lastly, when the, the last, when the parliament new building was inaugurated, when the constitution was distributed, when I found that in a preamble they have already omitted that word, secularism, and that was distributed in the parliament itself, which has made an amendment in that 1976, oh, sorry, 76, for the second amendment. So that prompted me that this government, the party in power, they are not caring at all to the constitution. Thereafter, when we found on 26th November Constitution Day, Constitution was distributed in many places, not of course in the Parliament. There also the same thing happened. The PM Bull was found to be without the word secularism, who is a part and parcel of the PM Bull of the Constitution. Then thereafter, when on 13th of December, when it was found that when the Parliament, this unfortunate happenings took place in the Parliament, and thereafter, the opposition party wanted to have a discussion, to have a statement from the Home Minister and that you come and say how we are safe in the parliament. So they have simply wanted only a statement from the Home Minister. What they did by their majority or by their muscle power or by their voice voice, they expel one by one up to 146 MPs were expelled. Thereafter, on 19, they passed a bill that is criminal, Indian Penal Code, Code of uh, CRPC, and the Indian Evidence Act. These three very important bills were introduced in the parliament. Ultimately, what they did, in the absence of all the members, they passed the bill, which has a far-reaching consequence on the people of India at all. This took place. On 19 night, I took a decision that being a student of law, I should not remain silent, just like English women, they can do anything except they are making men to women. Except this, they can do anything. So if they get majority, at least two-thirds majority, at least suppose for any reason, if the opposition party fail to come to power, at least if they, if they see that actually their number is reduced or it remain below majority, below two-thirds, I think that will also one of the contribution, one, one way it is helpful to the Indian democracy.